Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlow Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. Daquan, we are having a blast here in the studio. We have a new friend that is making us laugh already. I want for her to introduce herself to you, first and last name, and the name of your business. Hello, I am Domenica Leitner and my business is Professional Planning Associates. I love, so we're gonna keep it professional with professional plan. We tried, we tried. She is honestly one of my new best friends. We met at a networking event, good old Fem City, yes. right? And just hit it off. We were laughing the whole entire time. I'm like, oh, I have to go give a speech. I gotta go. I gotta go figure it out, but we'll talk <laughs> soon. And so now I'm so happy that she is here in the studio with us. Now, when we talk about planning, right? When we talk about planning, financial planning, life planning, a lot of us are nervous because we had a lot going on. We're moving towards better things but all the things that are behind us are a little scary. So when you help people in planning their life, do you have to dig deep into where they've been? Um, well, I think the first part is they have to dig deep because yeah. it's very personal. Yes. So they don't come until they feel comfortable telling you exactly where they are. Right. And most people are, aren't happy about where they are. Right. They think, Every 30-year-old is beyond them. Every 40-year-old is beyond them. Every 65-year-old right. is beyond them. Um, and you have to have em empathy. Yeah. I think that's what makes anything uh, relatable. Yeah. You know, you know? And usually those people at 30, 40, 50, they're not, they're not as behind as they think they are. No. They're not as behind as they think they are. Mm -hmm. So you give them a little bit of reality, I would like to say. Yeah, I tell them where <laughs> I was at 30. <laughs> right, right. Because right. we all weren't where we wanted to be at that given time, right? Right. Right, and then helping them through that and identifying where they are and that they can be in a better place and working with you in order to get there. Yes. I love that. Yes. I love that. Yes. Your energy is so fun. Taquan. We were laughing so hard about just everyday things. Like we're, we were trying, I said, when we get on the show, we gotta be serious, we gotta talk about what it, but this woman makes me laugh so hard. So, so you'll me. see me here every right. Friday. <laughs> Don't tease them. Do not tease them if that's not gonna be the case. For a not serious <laughs> session. We, we talk about that work-life balance too when we Love get on our phone calls. Love we it. talk about that because between you know being wives, being mothers, yes. you know you bring all that to the table when you are helping people plan as well, right? Yeah, I actually made that decision on my way here. I said I'm not going in tomorrow. I'm going to respond to the teacher's email and I'm going to go volunteer at my oh, daughter's class tomorrow. I love that. Yeah. So volunteering at school, taking mm -hmm. care of the household. <laughs> making yourself fancy coffees. All right, before we start talking Rocking about serious, milk. she said that she came, she's like, oh, today's a good day, because why? Why was I was coming here okay. to see you. Okay, before you came here, <laughs> you did, what did you make today? A uh, because I was coming here, mm -hmm. I, for the holidays, <laughs> I got chocolate Godiva coffee. Oh, it sounds amazing. And a milk frother and a milk frother but i don't know what that is Juan, do you know what that is i don't know what a milk froth am i full? i didn't know what a milk frother was what does why does it make you so excited that's the part that i'm concerned about like she said milk frother and she was just like milk frother what do you drink that's what? warm or hot i coffee do you drink coffee yeah okay when you drink coffee and pour milk into it do you yes. pour it cold no i don't you well maybe yes no 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 i do pour it cold. and then right. what and, and then, then I drink it, and it makes the coffee cold. It makes the coffee cold. I nuke mine, and then I yeah. drink it, right? Because I don't like cold coffee. I want hot coffee. Always. Cold, always, right? The what milk is, frother. What's happening? The, okay. I don't, I don't even know. My husband took it out on Sunday. I said, what are you doing? I'm like, what is that? I'm going to return that thing. Um, <laughs> he poured open, some milk in there, mine. froth it. I... It when warms? you stop saying the word froth without explaining it, so, thro thro you know, froth doesn't mean anything to me. You know when that, you go to a coffee shop and you have the that, fancy like, things yes, that they're doing. Yes, you yes. do that at your house. It's, it's just a button. I thought it was a barista that needed to do that. It is like a tiny little barista in your kitchen. It doesn't <laughs> even come off my counter anymore. I'm going to buy it like a, a sweater. Okay, so that warms the milk. I mean, and am I it. am I this basic to quite that I don't know this as a coffee drinker? I should know. And this. froths it. Does that like foamy stuff? Yeah. You are so fancy in and your And then, house. so I did. It, I said, well, while I'm at it, I'll sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Oh, I'm sorry. Pretend I'm at, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Exactly. And chestnut, <laughs> getting myself some. 
It was, and listen, today was a special day. Today was a special day. The whole morning was like, well, let me try this coffee. Let me froth my milk. Let me froth my mm -hmm. milk. Because she kept Do saying hair, it as if I should put know. A hat on. Right, put a hat on and then walk out into the rain. But the right. truth of the matter is, is that my point in all of the story, not only is it delightful and I learned something, <laughs> is that the people that help you in planning your life are, in fact, people. That's right. They're in fact people. Yes. On the other end of it, they are mothers, they are wives, they are dealing with the same issues, if not more issues, That's right. than you. So whether it's frothing your, your milk, milk every morning and understanding that, you know, getting excited about an opportunity or working and, and being able to figure it out or going to volunteer tomorrow. Uh, yes, I was also That's trying to think about what we were going to talk about today right. <laughs> as I was eating pretzels and tuna fish with my coffee because this I was morning? making my daughter's lunches. And I'm like, man, I eat some nasty things in the morning. Just because you eat the side of the you Wait. Like, I made the tuna, right? Yeah, for her lunch. For their lunches, right? Yeah. And, you know, you taste it, right? And I'm like, man, who wants to eat? I should have done this last I night. I should have done this last, last night. night. yeah. You are so fun. But it's that work-life balance. When you, again, you need a planner that knows how to plan. Perfect. You need somebody who has and has lived a life. Because, again, going to somebody that doesn't necessarily have your own life experiences or any experiences at all, it becomes this mechanic thing where right. I always know when I talk to you, I'm getting a real person with real experiences that can really help me. And I love that. Well, I think that's what makes what I do interesting. I, yeah. I said that to someone yesterday. You know, you can talk about the end result, which is what most people talk about. Yeah. But for me, it's the people you work with yeah. and watching them change. Oh, once they give in and tell you everything, yeah. once you start to see them succeed, yeah. you're like their best cheerleader, oh, you know, and you're yeah. growing with them. So, yeah. um, but I think in, initially it's always empathy because you know, whether people are have money, don't have money, they never relate themselves to it. Because right. if they inherited it, they're still not rich. Yeah. They inherited it. Wow. Um, so they don't know what it feels like yeah. to have money. And so I've met people that way. Yeah. And, you know, so you just have to understand where they're at. People have yeah. lost people. Yeah. So it's not that they because they have money now they're happy about it. Because yeah. how you know the, how can what, you have what money they lost replace? was more valuable than what they have yeah you know? no understood um and, th and that's it for me yeah. if I, you know understanding where they're at and if i have a similar experience sharing mine yeah so that they don't feel like right they're, uh, they're the only one doing that no the you're old. not the only one taking a loan from a retirement plan you're yeah. not the only one who cashed out one to buy a house or yeah. you know people do it people but, do and it. you have to do it Yes. People think financial planning is telling people how to grow their money, but sometimes it's just how to spend it too. Right, yeah. and how to survive. That's right. I I <laughs> survive. Mean, and I want to survive with you. I mean, whether or not I am talking about coffee or hanging out, <laughs> Right, right. We have a sign the in this. Coffee is a new thing. Co the coffee. I'm got, that's our first segment on a Friday morning. Right, exactly. Bringing the frother. Bringing the frother. Frother. To quant. Did you know? I don't Everyone. know. Everyone. I feel in the so basic. The audience will receive a frother. I know. You get a frother. You get a frother. You get a frother. I, I see. I feel so basic because I didn't know, but you came and you enlightened me, and now we have a plan. So I have it, to thank my girlfriend who got it for me. I know. Me. With a little shout out. Well, yes, Montra. Thank you. Thank you. I thank texted you. her yesterday. It's a frother. Who knew? <laughs> I don't know. She asked me one day, do you have one? And I said, no. <laughs> and so she got me one. She's like, you need it. You I need it. And now I need it too. Okay. So if you need a plan or that's a beyond, or or frother, yes, beyond the frother, you need to get in touch with my new <laughs> my new coffee mate, my new friend. I want you to make sure that everybody out there knows how to get in touch with you. How can they follow Fan and Like You? Um, our website is www.proplanners.org. Mm -hmm. uh, the office number is 215 Eight seven five eight six six six. I love it. Okay, so log on, call, get your cup of coffee ready. I'm excited that you will be back. She poor thing has no choice. We're going to continue to talk about planning. We're going to continue to share with you all the tidbits of our life that ensure that she's the perfect person to plan yours. We'll be right back with more. This is it. TV with Sheldon Barlett Rumor.